Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to launch an EC2 instance and how to add a user data in order to launch a web server while we initiate an EC2 instance. So basically EC2 instance, that is Elastic Cloud Com Compute Cloud. It provides you scalable computing capacity. It will also eliminate the needs that require to invest in hardware upfront. It can also help you to launch as many as virtual servers you need within fraction of seconds. And also we can configure the security and networking part also along with the storage or how much storage is required that also we can configure it. Amazon EC2 also enables us to scale up and down depending upon the traffic, depending upon the requirements our application needs. So in today's lab, I will show you how to launch EC2 then uh, how to add the user data to start a web server and what are the basics about the start, stop, running instance, terminating instance, and what is a private public IP address. So let's move on to the AWS console. So here we can search for EC2. So you can choose over here, launch instance. Give some name, my instance C. You can choose the images from here. You can see different, different operating systems are there that we can choose from. I'm choosing this Amazon Linux. So I'm just choosing this free tier. And 64 bit and instance type that is the size uh, t2 micro t1 nano small large we can choose it from here you can see the compute capacity cpu and memory it is increasing depending upon the instance type we choose so i'm choosing over here t2 micro you can see it is a free tier okay now in order to log in so we will create a key pair value so this we can use it in later for the later videos also because this we cannot create it later in order to log into our EC2 instance to SSH or to remotely. So we need to create this key, key pair and keep it saved somewhere. So I'll just click on this create. So my instance underscore C key. So key pair type, let it be RSA and create you can see private key format so for use with putty and all we have this ppk but there is a software is there we can use convert this pm file to the ppk so later in next videos i will show you how to do that just create key pair you can see it's automatically downloaded the previous interface it was not happening but now aws has updated the ec2 interface while for creating this launch wizard so automatically it downloads the key now here, SSH traffic from anywhere. So I will allow this HTTP traffic as we are going to run a web server on port number 80. And you can see the uh, configure the storage, let it be eight. That is the root volume in which our operating system will be. And we can add some extra volume also. So Freeter gives you 30 GB of EBS general purpose elastic block storage or a magnetic storage that we can add it. But for the time being, it's not required that we can add it later on also. Going to the advanced details. So here, uh, lots of things are there that we can discuss this later. Like if you want to give an IAM, so we can give an IAM role so that user can log into that particular EC2. Then um, we have over here, uh, metadata and all tags. Lots of things are there that we can discuss later on. So today I'm just showing you how to create a basic EC2 instance. You can see the host name type and all. You can add it over here. So here in the user data, I will just copy over here this particular data. So basically it is uh, installing Apache server and it's starting the service HTTP service and this it will be displaying this message uh, index.html. So that's all. So just click on the launch instance. 
it will take some time so you can check the details also uh, everything succeeded initialize request and all so by default the security group is being created and the rules that we were there like ssh and http so in the previous interface they were not there we need to select it by default we need to select but here it is by default it's creating everything so let's go to the instances over here so we can get a clear idea so just refresh this one so you can see it's showing pending over here it will take some time So you can see our EC2 instance is running within few seconds, I can say, within 30 seconds, this instance is up. So we can just go to this one. So you can see over here, we have a, a public IPv4 address and the private address over here. Uh, that is internal one, the host name that we can have it. So you can see EC2 internal, this is the host name type. And if we scroll it down, you can see over here security so by default the security group has been created with the launch visit when we were launching the ec2 instance so you can see launch visit and by default these are the uh, two inbound rules and this is the outbound rules so we will discuss these things in the next video but just to show you like if you click on the security groups you can see these are the inbound rules http tcp so we can edit our inbound rules so we can add some rules over here and we can see uh, all TCP, DNS, and all those things are there. And we can also specify a range, which IP address you want with security groups, you want to apply this particular port range and all. So these things I'll show you in the next video. So we'll go back to this one, EC2 instances, and you can see our instance is running up. So in order to see whether our web server is on or not, so we will just copy this one and just paste it over here so here we go so we get it over here so that's the internal ip address if you compare this one with this one it's same now this public ip address it may remain same or it may change if you click over here open address you can see it takes some time because it is becoming https but in the security group we have defined only http so that's why it won't work so rather than that just we need to provide the ip address so we can access our ec2 now you can also connect this ec2 by using this interface It will take them some time. Okay, it's already started. You can see the IP address, the private IP address. So we can use this terminal over here. So we can run the commands, whatever commands we want. Okay, so we can go back to this one so now go to the instances over here so this instance is running over here let's select this one so i will just stop the instance currently it is in the running state so i will just stop this one now if i refresh this one you can see it's not reachable So my instance is in, it's stopping. Now there is a difference, even if I stop my instance, still it is being built. So in order to avoid any builds and all, we need to make it sure it's in the terminating state. So just in order to show you, so I just stopped this instance. So I cannot access my server, even I cannot access this one. So I cannot access my EC2 instance now if you go back over here you can see instance state is stopped you cannot access it now i'll go back to this one and you can see start the instance so just we can refresh over here
you can check over here it's pending state you can go back so you can see now the public ipv4 address has been changed but still the internal one the private one it remains the same so our public ip address will keep on changing if you stop and start the instance again so uh, previously it was 54.160.211.241 but now it is 180.207.150.249 so let me paste over here so you can see our server is started again So there is lots of things to be discussed in the next video, like uh, what is a VPC, what is the default VPC, subnet ID, you can see the security, security groups, there is no I am role, I am the owner, I am using the root account in order to run this EC2 instance, and then we have the networking part, the IP addresses and all, and most important things uh, in the security that we have to do with the security groups and storage also like elastic block storage how we can utilize that a status check is also there we can use this so you can see it is still in pending state then we can have the monitoring over here how much cpu utilization then status check failed and all network cpu credit usage and balance and all those things are there and then if you go to the tags over here, so our instance name was my instance seed. So this is the default tag that we have used. So we will go into details about this. So in order to avoid any billing and all, even though if it is a free tier and all, so we can just go to this one and we can just choose over here. Terminate. So this will terminate our each two instance in order to avoid any billing and all. So remember the key things like uh, public IP address that keeps on changing and the private IP address and the security groups. We need to enable the HTTP port number and all in order to allow the inbound traffic. So I hope you like my video. So please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.